my name's Emma Sparks, I'm Deputy Editor of LonelyPlanet.com and I'm just back from Budapest. Every year I go away with my two best friends from university and we take it in turns to pick where we go. This year was my turn, so I chose Budapest. So you can't go to Budapest without going to the thermal baths. There are 80 geothermal springs beneath the city, so naturally over the centuries all of these spa baths have cropped up. I went to three um, and I went to one of them twice, I was so in love with them. Uh, the most famous is probably the Shichenyi baths. This is like this huge yellow complex, it's massive, it has I think two or three outdoor baths and a, an outdoor swimming pool and indoors it's just this labyrinth. You know, you go from pool to pool to pool, the saunas, ice dipping baths and all sorts. The baths in Budapest are undeniably touristy, particularly Szczecinyi. Um, it doesn't mean you shouldn't go, they are still well worth a visit. My advice would be probably to get there early, um, scope it out, find your space, because that's the main key is just to find like a seat or a, or a lounger. You'd be crazy to go to Budapest and not go to the ruined bars. They are and have become a huge draw. Um, they've emerged probably over the last 15 years, I believe, um, taking up the abandoned spaces um, in these rundown areas and transforming them into these really cool, quirky bars, clubs, cafes. I ate so well in Budapest, um, surprisingly so. I was expecting goulash and stodge, um, but I was, you know, surprised to find that the diversity of the food there is is great and we went out for a meal one night and it was really special we had elderflower fizz on arrival delicious meal of rabbit with vegetables um and then we were treated to free cupcakes with the bill so you can't complain and we discovered that hungarian wine is rather delicious and you don't really need to know what type of wine it is I'm, i don't profess to be a wine connoisseur but it pretty much all tasted good. So there are a number of quite famous bridges connecting the two sides of Budapest. My favourite, and um, probably the defining moment of my trip, was walking along Liberty Bridge. The sun was setting, the sky was a glorious colour, and this bridge was just really busy, but also calm at the same time. I think everyone gathered there. There were teenagers sort of chilling on the, the beams of the bridge people taking photos, cyclists, trams, pedestrians and joggers and boats going underneath along the Danube um, and it was just really beautiful, the temperature was perfect um, and it was just a moment to sort of reflect on how beautiful the city is and how lovely the people seem to be as well. That experience I couldn't have planned for and some of the best travel experiences you can't plan for or know about them in advance. All I have to say about it is you just have to walk around with your eyes open and take time as well to appreciate what's in front of you. I easily could have walked across that bridge without paying any attention, but we took our time, we stopped, we watched what was going on, and the city just unravelled itself in front of us.